from the factory hole, the screw holes are going to go into the empty space where there's a void. So I know there's some people with YouTube channels that build these on a 3D printer, um, and I'm sure they're real nice. Uh, you can buy a piece of quarter inch ABS plastic. This is textured on one side. Um, I've built several of these, uh, and of course you can see here, I've, this is the second one out of this piece, but I think this piece is like somewhere around, you know, $15. Um, well worth it. You can cut this with your skill saw, uh, relatively easy. Uh, just be aware that, uh, when they ship them, they're not square. So you'll have to square it up, but I build this four by four. This is four inches by four inches, um, center. Uh, measure and center it. Uh, take you, I think it's a two inch hole saw, but confirm that. Um, I want to say it's two inches. Um, but take you a hole saw, start it in the center where you centered your, your uh, hole saw, and um, make the appropriate size hole. And now this will cover this will cover anything that uh, the void from the big hole and this makes for a nice clean look um, I enjoy this on a couple of carts that I have already uh, and I'll just take some self tappers and drill into the material or or some bolts whatever your material is I build carryalls so they're they're usually uh, aluminum so it's it's uh, makes for a good clean insulation um, and then of course all this will show later will get connected to the charging port uh, to dress these edges up on this vanity plate so to speak um, I just took my sander and sanded it down I, I cut them on a table saw so they're real straight um, I have routed this before but it puts plastic all over my router bits and I don't like it so I just take it and uh, take a piece of sandpaper, kind of bevel the edge a little bit. Um, anyway, it works out good, and it hides the hole from the factory charge port.